Good evening to you. I'm Laura Queso. Russ and Sarah have the evening off. We begin tonight with a crowd for Black Lives Matter, gathering outside the Justice Center in downtown Cleveland, all because of a man who died at the hands of a Euclid police officer three years ago. Our Andrew Horansky spoke with his family who organized this rally. The case called to question the nature of excessive force. In 2017, 23-year-old Luke Stewart was avoiding arrest in Euclid when a police officer jumped into the car as Stewart drove off. When punching and a stun gun didn't work, the officer fired. For us, when we close our eyes and think about Luke being killed and being shot five times, three times in the chest, once in the palm of his hand, and once in his neck, it, there's no way that should not appear to be excessive. He went out in fear. He went out in pain. This is not what our police officers are supposed to be doing. This is not the protect and serve we are told we're supposed to get. A neighbor had reported a car parked on her street early in the morning lights on. When police arrived, they found Stewart asleep. But next they found marijuana, then traced the car to a man with a warrant who wasn't Stewart. It was his driving that a judge later ruled that justified the shooting. And today, the officer still has a job. We're human beings with feelings and family and friends and loved ones. Who are we here for? Which brings us to tonight and a peaceful march for Black Lives Matter, beginning outside First Energy Stadium, ending outside the Justice Center. Unlike the violent clashes of weeks ago, the crowd kept calm as police closed streets to keep them safe. No and as Stewart's family, no who organized this, hopes no one will forget the father of two they loved so much. Unfortunately, we are in an environment in which we get outraged when these things happen. And then we go back to our day-to-day -day lives. And it's like we kind of wait for the next time to be upset. Which is why she tells me tonight it is so important to keep the conversation going so people do not forget moving forward. In downtown Cleveland tonight, I'm Andrew Horansky, 3 News.